Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in the segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So before we move on to the practice question of the previous day, I would like to discuss a mistake that was done in the practice question of 10th of November, which was discussed further on the 11th of November. That was consider the following statements regarding Climate Change Performance Index of 2022. It is compiled by German Watch, the New Climate Institute and the Climate Action Network. This is correct. And also second is correct that the first three ranks of the overall rankings were kept empty. The rankings were started from rank fourth, which was not held by Norway, but Denmark. And there was a mistake with respect to the third statement and also the rankings. So, in order to correct that, we are discussing this and the correct answer was 1 and 2. And recently, the 17th edition of Climate Change Performance Index 2022 was released. It is compiled by German Watch, the New Climate Institute and the Climate Action Network. And the index monitors climate mitigation progress of 57 countries in the European Union. So, here the ranking will be Denmark has been placed on top in this index. Rank is 4th. Sweden is 5th, Norway is 6th and India is ranked 10th, same. The first three ranks of the overall rankings were kept empty. And in terms of greenhouse gas emission, UK stands 4th, Sweden stands 5th, Mexico at 6th, Chile at 7th. These are the top 7 and India is ranked 12th. And the first three ranks in the greenhouse gas emission category were also kept empty. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Which of the following cities is or are a part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network? Ahmedabad, Srinagar, Bhopal, Jaipur. So the correct answer to this question should be option B because Srinagar and Jaipur are a part of it but not Ahmedabad and Bhopal. Recently, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization designated Srinagar as a part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network after Mumbai. Chennai, Hyderabad, Varanasi and Jaipur, Srinagar is the sixth Indian city to achieve this distinction. Indian cities on the network include Srinagar for crafts and folk arts, Mumbai for film, Hyderabad for gastronomy, Chennai for a creative city of music, Jaipur for crafts and folk arts and Varanasi creative city of music. Moving on. Consider the following statements regarding Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. He was a member of the Constituent Assembly and helped in shaping the Constitution of India. He was the first Union Minister of Education. We have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer is option C. The Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has paid rich tributes to Maulana Abul Kalam Azad on his Shayanti, member of the Constituent Assembly. He was and he helped in shaping the Constitution of India. He was also the first Union Minister of Education. He played a pivotal role in the foundation of IIT, UGC, AICTE, Sahitya Academy, Lalit Kala Academy, Sangeet Natak Academy and many other educational initiatives in India. He held portfolios of natural resources and scientific research. He played a pivotal role in the foundation of CSIR and scientific research laboratories in India. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding Deva Sahayam Pillai. He is a 18th century Hindu man who converted to Christianity. He believed to have attained martyrdom for the faith will become the first lay person from India to attain sainthood. We have to select the incorrect statement or statements. Both of them are correct. None of them are incorrect. So the correct answer is option D. An 18th century Hindu man who converted to Christianity is said to be made a saint by the Roman Catholic Church early next year. Deva Sahayam Pillai, believed to have attained martyrdom for the faith, will become the first lay person from India to attain sainthood. All other Indians elevated as saints have been members of the clergy. Moving on, let's know about him. Born on 23rd of April 1712 at Nattalam village, which is now in Tamil Nadu, Kanyakumari district. Lakanda Pillai, as he was known before embracing Christianity, grew up in an upper caste 
family of temple priests. He became a Catholic in 1745, a few years after coming into contact with a captain from the Dutch East India Company while serving the royal house of Travancore. Pillai took the Christian name Lazarus but later came to be known as Deva Sahayam, that means God's help. The church is of the view that his preaching of equality of all people despite caste differences eventually led to his martyrdom. In 1749, he was arrested and shot on 14th January 1752 after being subjected to torture. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding Dart mission. The mission or the main aim of the mission is to test the newly developed technology that would allow a spacecraft to crash into an asteroid and change its course. The spacecraft will be launched on SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from California. The target of the spacecraft is a small moonlet called Didymos. So we have to select the correct statement. First thing that we need to keep in mind here that the target of the spacecraft is a small moonlet by the main name of Dimorphos and not Didymos. So the third statement is incorrect. The first and the second are correct. So the correct answer should be option B. That is one and two only. NASA will launch the agency's first planetary defense test mission named the double asteroid redirection test. The main aim of the mission is to test the newly developed technology that would allow a spacecraft to crash into an asteroid and change its course. The spacecraft will be launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The target of the spacecraft is a small moonlet called Dimorphos, which is a Greek term for two forms. It is about 160 meter in diameter and the spacecraft is expected to collide when it is 11 million kilometers away from the Earth. Dimorphos orbits a larger asteroid named Didymos, that is the Greek for twin, which has a diameter of 780 meters. Moving on, the asteroid and the moonlet do not pose any threat to the Earth and the mission is to test the new technology to be prepared in case an asteroid heads towards the Earth in the future. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements regarding privilege motion. The LS Lok Sabha speaker, the RS Rajya Sabha chairperson, is the first level of scrutiny of a privilege motion. The parliamentary privileges do not extend to the President and the Attorney General of India, who are also an integral part of the Parliament. We have to select the correct statement. The first is correct that the LS Speaker and RS Chairperson, they are the first level of scrutiny of a privilege motion. Second is incorrect because although the parliamentary privileges do not extend to the President, it does to the Attorney General. The correct answer to this question is option A, that is one only. Recently, Congress Chief Whip in the Rajya Sabha Jairam Ramesh moved a privilege motion against Culture Minister G. Kishan Reddy. The Speaker or the Chair can decide on the privilege motion himself or herself or refer it to the Privileges Committee of the Parliament. And if the Speaker or the Chair gives consent under the relevant rules, the member concerned is given an opportunity to make a short statement. The Constitution also extends the parliamentary privileges to those persons who are entitled to speak and take part in the proceedings of a house of the parliament or any of its committees which includes the attorney general of india and the union ministers although we have already discussed i will tell you at length that the parliamentary privileges do not extend to the president who is also an integral part of the parliament article 361 of the constitution provides for the privileges for the president moving on which of the following countries have a border with the red sea yemen oman egypt Eritrea? The correct answer should be 1, 3 and 4. Oman doesn't do that. So 1, 3 and 4, that is option C. We have the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain are holding their first joint naval exercise with Israel a year after normalizing ties with the Jewish state. The five-day maneuvers in the Red Sea, which is linked to the Mediterranean through the Suez Canal, are intended to enhance interoperability between the participating forces at the southern end the Red Sea is connected to the Gulf of Aden and the outer Indian Ocean via the Strait of Bab el Mandeb. Moving on, as you can see, the map shows you the bordering states of Red Sea. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the governor. 
the appointment and powers of the governor can be derived from the part 7 of the indian constitution a governor can be terminated earlier by dismissal by the president on the advice of the council of ministers headed by the chief minister of the country so we have to select the correct statement the first statement is incorrect because it should not be part 7 from which the appointment and powers of the governor is derived from it should be part 6 first is incorrect second is also incorrect that a governor can be terminated earlier this is correct by dismissal by the president on the advice of the council of ministers which is headed by the prime minister of the country okay so none of them being correct the correct answer should be option d president ramnath kovind has exhorted the governors to play the role of the friend philosopher and guide of the public and the government the appointment and powers of the governor can be derived from the part 6 of the indian constitution article 153 says that there shall be a governor for each state one person can be appointed as governor of two or more states the governor acts in dual capacity as the constitutional head of the state and as the representative of the president the term of governor's office is normally five years but he or she can be terminated earlier by dismissal by the president on the advice of the council of ministers headed by the prime minister of the country moving on Consider the following statements with respect to the Madhubani paintings. Traces of Madhubani art can be noticed in the Ramayana, the Indian epic. Karpuri De Devi, Mahalakshmi and Dulari are some eminent Madhubani artists and it is practiced in India only. So we have to select the correct statement. Yes, traces of Madhubani art can be noticed in Ramayana. This is correct. Karpuri Devi, Mahalakshmi and Dulari are some of the eminent painters when it comes to Madhubani arts and it is not only practiced in India but also Nepal so third is incorrect first and second are correct the correct answer is option A. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has thanked Dulari Devi an artist from Bihar's Madhubani. Madhubani painting has its origins in Mithila region of Bihar. The painting is one of the oldest and most famous Indian art forms which is also practiced in Nepal. Traces of Madhubani art can be noticed in the Ramayana, the Indian epic. It is also known as Mithila or Madhubani art and Karpuri Devi Mahalakshmi and Dulari are some of the eminent artists of the Madhubani paintings. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War. The government of India decided on 3rd December 1971 that India would go to war with Pakistan. On 16th December 1971, the chief of the Pakistani forces with 93,000 soldiers had surrendered unconditionally to the allied forces consisting of Indian Army and Mukti Bahini in Dhaka. So we have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are definitely correct. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. And the Golden Jubilee celebrations of Bangladesh's independence will start on December 16. Speaking to the media in Dhaka on Thursday, Home Minister said that Home Minister of Bangladesh said that many foreign guests are expected to attend the celebration. Vijay Divas is observed on 16 December every year to mark India's victory over Pakistan in the 1971 war. We have discussed this statement, so we shall skip it. This war was fought between India and Pakistan for 13 days. And on 16 December 1971, the chief of the Pakistani forces with 93,000 soldiers had surrendered unconditionally to the Allied forces consisting of Indian Army, and Mukti Bahini in Dhaka. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the National Recruitment Agency. National Recruitment Agency will be a society registered under the Societies Registration Act of 1860. It will be headed by the chairman of the rank of secretary to the government of India. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both of them are correct. The correct answer is option C. Union Minister of State for Personnel and Public Grievances on Thursday said that National Recruitment Agency will be established in the country by March 2022, which will conduct common eligibility tests for recruitment. NRA is the testing agency which conducts the common eligibility examination for non-gazetted Group B and C posts. Initially, it will conduct the recruitment examinations for RRBs, Railway Recruitment Boards that is, Institute of Banking and Personnel Selection IBPS and Staff Selection Commission and will gradually expand its operations. It will be a society registered under the Society's Registration Act and will have been headed, it will be headed 
by a chairman of the rank of secretary to the government of india moving on no ground beneath the feet selected for the international competition selection of iffi is a film belonging to which of the following countries the correct answer to this question is option a that is bangladesh bangladeshi film pair tole mati nai no ground beneath the feet directed by mohammad rabbi mrida has been included in the international competition section of the 52nd international film festival of india to be held at goa between 20 to 28th of november moving on to the practice question for the next segment consider the following statements regarding locust attack heavy rains and an increasing number of cyclones enabled unprecedented breeding and the rapid growth of the locust population on the arabian peninsula due to the 1926 to 1932 locust plague in india the british government began research into the desert locust so we have to select the correct statement okay so i'll hope that you will be answering it correctly in the comment segment that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching